Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at flashing a Perk 310 Mini RAID controller to IT mode for disk pass through to the host. To get started, download the flashing tools from fodisha.com, then download the Ventoy installer from GitHub. Plug a USB flash drive into the PC that can be formatted, then navigate to your downloads directory and extract the downloaded cross flash zip archive. Now extract the downloaded Ventoy installer. Navigate into the extracted Ventoy folder and launch Ventoy to disk. Select the target USB flash drive, then click the install button. Click yes to confirm formatting the selected storage device, then yes again to confirm you double checked. Once the installation completes, click OK and close out of Ventoy to disk. Navigate back to your downloads directory and into the extracted flashing utilities folder. Copy the two ISO images to your clipboard. Then navigate to the Ventoy USB device and paste the two ISO images here. With the files copied, safely remove the Ventoy flash drive and plug it into the system with the RAID controller. Then power on the hardware and boot to the Ventoy drive. Select the FreeDOS ISO and press enter. Then select memdisk mode to continue booting to it. Once FreeDOS loads, run the command info. Take a photo of, or carefully write down the SAS address from the output and compare the product name and chip revision to the listing at fodisha.com. If there isn't an exact match, stop here. With the SAS address and hardware verified, run the reboot command and boot back to the Ventoy USB device. This time, select the Linux ISO from the menu and press enter, then select boot in normal mode. Once the Linux ISO is booted, run IP info to output the IP address so you can SSH to the device to allow for copying and pasting the commands if you'd prefer. We'll start by elevating to a root shell using sudo su, then we'll run the sas-mega command to output the sas address, followed by the command to flash the controller to IT mode. The command will vary based on the target hardware device. I'm using h310-mini in this example. Once the flash completes without errors, reboot the server. Boot back to Ventoy and then select the Linux ISO again. Once we're back in Linux, elevate back to the root shell using sudo su. Now use the set sas command to set the sas address back to the value it was prior to flashing to IT mode. Next, if you plan the boot to a disk plugged into the RAID controller, we need to flash bootloader software. There's a bootloader for booting to legacy BIOS devices and a separate one for booting to EFI devices. Using the flash boot command, I'll flash both of them so I can boot to both BIOS and EFI disks in the future. Once you've flashed the necessary bootloaders, shut down and you've completed the process. 